what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today's video we're doing some uh, junkyard hunting well the hunting actually has already been done because my dad did it for me so he called me up the other day he stopped by a junkyard on his way out of work looking for some uh dodge parts and he stumbled upon a little treasure and i'll say it's a little treasure because it's a jeep cj5 so let's take a look at it All right, so you might be thinking like, what's up with this uh, junkyard Jeep CJ5? And the thing is, is that first glance, it just looks like an old Jeep, but, and I know my Jeep is pretty much almost complete, but this Jeep has a Laredo dash. And what's important about this is that it has the hole for the tachometer and for the clock. And it also has a radio cutout. My CJ7 is actually a Renegade and I don't have this dash. And what kind of gave away that it was a Laredo is that the grab handle on the passenger side is leather wrapped so that's a big takeaway right there and on the back you'll see that it has the uh, bumperettes which i had purchased some for the cj7 and they didn't fit right and these are fitting on here so we're going to go ahead and grab these even if we don't use them it's going to be a good find to sell and the reason why they got this bezel right here on the bottom was actually if you flip them up you can clean your boots off just like that so that's why those are like that but people flip them down so you can have this clean side facing up all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take off this dash pad so I can start taking off this dash panel. Uh, I don't need any of the gauges really or any of the switches because I already have all those. Um, one thing I am noticing is uh, it looks like the, the wiper or washer motor is in a different location, but it's all right. So we're just gonna take this off, take some of this other junk that's inside of it. Oh man, this thing's got, did you see this earlier, Dad? It's got a bunch of holes in the floorboard. <laughs> I did not. This might be why they got rid of it. On oh, the floor for shot. The floor, even where the uh, roll cage is, is look at that. That's gone. If you look right here. Yeah. Oh, even look at this where the. Oh yeah, it's full of holes. Yep. Typical. Oh, you do look at this. It looks like it has like a fuel cell. What is that? This Jeep's full of treasures. I'm not sure so. Definitely the floor is gone. That's why they Yeah. This. That's why they put this sheet metal here. Sheet metal. Right. No, it doesn't have a fuel cell. I think that might have been the way they were doing the fuel though. It could have been. No, this thing is... <laughs> What's the saying? More holes than the chain link fence? <laughs> this thing's got more holes than the chain link fence. One of the reasons why they made the Oh, dude, the frame is gone. It's the engine, so it's got the little four cylinder, which is oh, yeah. very desirable. Yeah. Fit for these Jeeps, but. Yep. Little four cylinder engine, all the cobwebs. It's got the jack. I think you told me that on the phone yesterday. No, I looked at the frame underneath and it's rotted, dude. Yeah. It's like, this is why they got rid of it. But, all right, are you ready? Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right. All right guys, a little quick update. I got the dash out and I took everything out except the um, radio and the clock. I wanna keep those two things. Uh, I think the radio might be original, but I really don't know. I'm not one of those like connoisseurs that knows absolutely everything, but it does have the aluminum rocker panels on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those. They are for a CJ5, but I think you could get some pretty serious money for them and they're in really good shape. Now, because I gotta get down on that rocker panel, I was uh, gonna show you guys a quick little trick. So you're walking around the junkyard and we're about to lay down on the dirt, but we don't want to get dirty. So what you do is you walk around. And over here, we've got this wrecked uh, police interceptor. But what I do is I look in the trunks of these cars for the uh, the uh, floor mat. And I found this one right here. So what I do is I grab this and I just kind of uh, dust it off, right? And I'm gonna lay on that versus laying on the floor full of 
all sorts of fluids and stuff. So this is a neat little trick I always do when I'm junkyard hunting and I gotta get on the ground to get what I need. So that's your pro tip for today. Let's get this piece out. Mopar dad is jumping from car to car in the shade. That's right. <laughs> he got a cold ball of water on his neck. So it, anyways, I was jumping down here to get these a little aluminum rocker. They're rocker panel covers. Uh, I believe so. I think that's what they're called. They're aluminum. They're, they're pretty rare. So dad told me to snap off the bolts and I really don't have to because <laughs> it's just completely rotted out. It's so bad, but there we go. The piece is completely perfect. I didn't have to break off the bolts. We just got to I'll break them off when I get home. But right now, I mean, I am swamped in sweat. It's hot. So we've got two rocker panel covers, the dash. I kept the clock, like I said, the grab bar, the door. And then over here, I've got the little radio. It's time to pack up. Let's get out of here. So I am dripping in sweat. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days since Dad and I went to the junkyard and grabbed the dash for the CJ7 and those other CJ5 parts that you saw. Now, I left that dash at my dad's house, and I need to go ahead and take all those. Uh, I need to take the clock out of it, and there's some other switches that I need to take out of it. Uh, that way, DJ, uh, the guy who painted the Challenger, if you guys remember that, I'll put a link to that video right here. And that dash also had a lot of like other little makeshift brackets put on there so those holes need to be patched up welded and they need to be all that metal needs to be worked before it gets painted now i'm also waiting because i finally picked up a cj7 hardtop for this bad boy and i know what you're thinking jeep hardtop like why would you put a hardtop on a jeep that top for the jeep will go to paint at the same time that the dash goes to paint now that doesn't mean that i don't have stuff to do to the Jeep still, we still need to align it. And I know you see some parts on top of the Jeep's hood right here. So let's talk about those real quick. All right, here I've got the more off-road steering box brace and steering box uh, bracket. So basically this goes on this side of the frame of the Jeep and then this goes on the opposite side to brace the steering box. So I need to put these pieces on and they're bare metal. So I need to, well, not this one, this one's finished. Uh, but this one's bare metal, so I need to go ahead and get this one painted. Um, probably just rattle can and seal it. Um, but both of these are from more off-road. Here's the hardware. Here's the hardware for the bracket. Um, so I need to put those on because I want to really brace up the steering box on the CJ7 before I get it aligned. And then there's a couple of other little things I need to do under the hood. I have one of the brackets to the fuel pump. Not brackets, I have one of the hoses to the fuel pump leak on me the other day. Uh, so I went ahead and got some more hose and I got some new of those little clamps to get that nice and tight. I know it's a lot and I know it's been a really long time that I've been working on the CJ7 trying to get on the road, but you know, life gets in the way, especially this big orange behemoth behind me seems to take all my money. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking by with the CJ7, uh, especially because now I'm just stacking up parts, getting everything ready. Well guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, next video, I'll be installing the more off-road pieces and hopefully get this thing aligned and get this car tuned a little better so you guys know what to do. Leave a comment below, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.